4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 339! 339 steps. Well, today I'm out Crowder's Mountain finishing up something that I said I was going to do. And this video is on determination. So let's just get right into it. What is determination? One of the definitions of determination is resoluteness, resolving to a conclusion. Determination is <laughs> what 90% of these videos have been built on. Like, we know we can do certain things and so that's why we'll do them. And a lot of the things that are a little out of our grasp that would take determination, would just take a grit, a resoluteness, say, I said I was gonna do it, and I'm gonna do it. We don't really do those. So why determination? Well, at the beginning of the month, I set out to uh, be a part of the Human Powered Movement Challenge. This challenge for October was to climb 29,029 feet. And there's only a few days when I'm recording this, left in October. And I'm out at Crowder's Mountain, right on the edge of Charlotte, North Carolina, to finish off the, uh, the elevation that I need. A few weeks ago, I came out without my camera, and on a Saturday, the goal was just to swing for the fences and see what I could do, see what my legs could hold up. I don't even remember how many times, I think it was 11 times for a total of 10,000 plus feet, uh, 20 something miles. So today, I think I have, at this moment, I have 18,000, uh, 18,603 feet. So I have a little over 10,000 feet to go. The goal is to climb the distance of Mount Everest and I will have done that in October so I'm determined to do my first Everest in a month and yeah, we're gonna do it. See, determination takes accountability and it's not accountability to anyone else besides yourself and that is the hardest part a few years ago i started focusing on the one thing that i have like what's the one thing that you have and it's your word and so i started doing my best to be a man of my word and a lot of times when you say you're going to do something even if you say it to yourself it takes a level of determination to say you know what i said i was going to do something and i'm going to do it even if it's not important, I'm going to do it because I am a man of my word. It takes a resoluteness to say, this is what I said I'm going to do. I'm going to do it. Well, two hours and six minutes into this adventure, 2,700 feet of climbing. Have uh, a little over 8,000 left to go. Feeling good. Um, I've made it back to the van one time, got a snack. Haven't refilled the water yet, but um, yeah, staying hydrated. Uh, the weather is amazing. And so just uh, staying positive while I can and uh, just enjoying it. So trying to slow down a little bit just so that way I don't destroy myself because there's no reason in doing it any faster, just to get it done. So. Uh, I've rested like four minutes. Now it's time to go back down. Here at Crowder's, 
There's some crazy fast downhills, and I love running downhill. Free power, free speed, but it takes a lot out of my legs and fatigues my knees severely. Another fun section that I won't be able to run down today if I'm going to try to reach goal is this section. I climbed 3,100 feet, which means I have 9,000 left. So I'm heading back over to the radio tower side because I'll just try to go up and down it maybe five or six times. To get myself a little closer. How many packs are you doing this? As many as it takes. Oh. <laughs> so one of the reasons why I really enjoy Crowders is the amount of people that are out here. Always just really nice. And you pass a lot of them in the ask you how many times are you doing this and this is a good conversation but back again uh, I am 18 miles in and 6100 feet of climbing currently at this moment so if you're following along it's halfway so I may get a 50k in today in the attempts to get 12,000 feet, so we'll see. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 25, 26, 45, 6, 8, 7, 8, 8, 8, 9, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 1. 39 steps wooden steps up your car thank you ladies uh, if you want to know, maybe. There may be less. <laughs> oh, 339. I'm going to pass on your left. 339. <laughs> I may have missed one, but... Status update. Uh, 22 miles in. 7,503 feet. Just met Alex on, I think this is, uh, this is 10,050 feet at this moment, but Alex has his camera out. He took some photos of me. And also, Sean showed up. So this is, this is great, so. 10,000 steps too? No. Uh, no, this is my second time up. <laughs> He's been doing it all day. Uh, I'm just hey, Alex, thank you so much, bud. This is uh, 10,000, uh, it should be like 10,000 and some odd feet at this moment. Uh, I have done 20, 28 miles uh, of distance. You know, I started this video off with a level of determination to finish and uh, I mean, I am fatigued. Uh, staying on my nutrition, which is great, which has definitely made the legs feel uh, good, but I mean, I still am very tired. My eyes are hazy, kind of blurred vision, but still staying in great spirits. On my last adventure, uh, there was a gentleman named Ernie who helped me finish, and today I was coming up the mountain and I hear this guy yell, Aaron, what are you doing? And it was Ernie again on the hill. And so I think he was out here. I think he did five up and downs today. Big effort from him. And uh, it was just super fun. So now we're up at the radio tower at sunset. 
wind's blowing. I don't know if you'll hear it in the video, but it's starting to get a little chilly, especially of how sweaty I am. But we'll go up here. Been moving for seven hours and 45 minutes. Uh, and that's move time. Have my auto pause on my watch. So I think I've actually been going for nine hours or something like that. So put the put the camera away. So I can focus. Well, I know it's gonna be so hard to see me right now, but just know that I have done it. I have done 11,755 feet in 32 miles um, and in eight hours and 44 minutes of moving. And uh, I started the video with determination and telling you that like, the, like determination is what it's gonna take to get this done and, and it did. Like there were a lot of times that it hurt and didn't want to keep climbing and uh, knew that um, that I had made the wrong choice at the beginning because I had uh, I was doing the back and forth from Pinnacle to Linwood and that meant that uh, that I had a lot more miles than I had elevation and the goal was to do elevation today uh, a few takeaways um, I got to see Ernie, which uh, uh, Ernie was the guy who helped me finish the last crazy adventure that I did. And uh, Sean, which is over there in the shadows, uh, he came out, he drove all this way to do the last three up and down with me. And um, But uh, I'm just going to challenge you, be determined. Like, set a goal and do not give up. Tell yourself you're going to do it and hold yourself accountable. Uh, that's all you can do. You have your word, and when you give your word, your word is the only thing that you have. And so, um, yeah, uh, I, I'm so, I'm so happy today. Like this is crazy. I actually was able to do the Everest this month. So uh, I have done twenty nine thousand and seventy nine feet of elevation in the month of October. So. Uh, th a big, big thank you to the Human Powered Movement, Adam Brayton, for putting on this crazy challenge and and uh, knowing that I would try to swing for the fences. To Ernie, uh, to Sean, to uh, anyone that gave me kudos or uh, helped me this t uh, this month, I really appreciate it. Now I'm going to rest and go eat because I am starving. Yeah.